my friends, and welcome to another episode of Ghost Stories in Folklore. Tonight, my friends, I'm going to share with you reports that are related to the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles, California. There are several strange reports that surround the area of Griffith Park and that famous sign that sits up there on that hill. There have also been many who have made videos and posted websites about the haunting, but in this video we will be focusing mainly on the paranormal reports. Now there are those who have reported a sudden sense of foreboding as they ascend the trails leading up to the sign. Dogs freeze and refuse to continue, cowering behind their masters. Many, including rangers and security guards for the area, spot a young blonde woman dressed in 1930s clothing whose footsteps make no sound. The figure makes her way toward the Hollywood sign, appearing disoriented. There is a strong scent of gardenias often trailing her as well. Soon after her appearance, the woman vanishes from sight. Now one of the most reported experiences is that of seeing a white mist make its way up the path towards the sign, and then it disappears. What could be causing this activity around this iconic sign in the hills above Los Angeles? Most believe that it is the spirit of Peg Ant Whistle. On the night of September 16, 1932, actress Peg Entwistle told her family she was going on a walk and never came home. That night, she climbed on top of the H of the Hollywood sign and jumped to her death. Now, like I said, friends, we are going to be focusing on the paranormal reports. For more about Peg's story, make sure you turn in to Panic D videos later on this week, as they will be covering her story in quite detail. The paranormal reports related to the Hollywood sign started back in 1940s after the H fell down. Most people believed that it was the spirit of Peg that caused it. In 1990, a North Hollywood man and his girlfriend were walking on a Beechwood Canyon trail near the Hollywood sign with their dog when the animal suddenly began to act very strange. Instead of running around on the trail and through the brush as he normally did, he began to whine and hang back near the couple. They had never seen him act this way before and could find no cause until they spotted a lady walking nearby. One thing they noticed about her was that she was wearing clothing from the 1930s. However, thinking that you could see anything in Hollywood, they didn't pay much attention. This lady, however, seemed to be walking in a daze, thinking that perhaps that she was under the influence of some sort of medication or alcohol. They started to steer clear of her when she suddenly just faded away before their very eyes. At the time, they had no idea who Peg Entwistle was, nor that she had jumped to her death nearby, or even that her ghost reportedly haunted the area. Imagine their surprise when they found out. Another eyewitness to this haunting was a Griffith Park Ranger named John Arbogast. In an interview, he revealed his own encounters with the ghost of Peg and Whistle. He stated that she normally made her presence known very late at night, especially when it was foggy and always in the vicinity of the Hollywood sign. 
He also claimed to have encountered the scent of gardenias in the area as well. I have smelled it several times, he said, and always when any flowers around have been closed because of the cold weather. I don't think I've ever smelt it in the summertime. Our bagasse duties as ranger often involved the Hollywood sign itself. He explained that in recent years, alarm systems have been installed near the sign to keep people away from it. There is always a danger of vandals, and of course, those who want to take the same path that Pig did. The alarm system incorporates the use of motion detectors and lights to keep intruders away. Arbogast recalled a number of times when the alarm system stated that somebody was close to the sign. Even though a check by the ranger revealed no one was there. There have been times when I have been at the sign, he said. And the motion detectors say that someone is standing five feet away from me. Only there is nobody there. Our next report is that of Megan Santos that reported this directly to Vanity Fair in October of 2014. She was jogging her usual path on the Griffith Trails high above Los Angeles when she started to sneeze. She was overcome by what she described as a weird feeling and the overpowering scent of gardenias. The shivers were nothing compared to what came next. And then, there was this woman with blonde hair and she seemed to be like walking on air. What could be causing all of this activity that is reported by several different people around the Hollywood sign, my friends? Is it the spirit of Peg Entwistle reliving that night over and over again? Could there be other factors in play, such as some sort of imprint on this world that replays this night so that they protect others from following the same path? Why have so many reported the smell of gardenias in the area? It just so happens that was Peg's favorite perfume. If you like this episode of Ghost Stories and Folklore, be sure to hit the like button. And if you would like more videos from Panity videos in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications. If you dare. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.